Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today I'm going to show you something awesome about the uh, Melda 14.1 update. This is going to be uh, probably the best enhancement I've seen to their M cabinet MB. Uh, the enhancement is that they added an export for impulse response at the master output. So what that means is that you can sit here and work on a perfect cabinet sound using the multiband, you know, to try to do it frequency wise, but you can also set this up uh, by disabling. I just right clicked inside of the, uh, the band split here and you hit disable. And now that turns this into just a simple mixing board where the, uh, you're no longer, you know, worried about the left right here does nothing. These are all just up down volumes. All of them are full spectrum. So you can basically make a mix out of uh, six different cabinets and you can affect each of them differently. Uh, you want to make sure that link is turned off in order to do that. So that when you un when link is turned off, now I can make an EQ move on I'm on band one here. I can move a, you know the EQ on this guy and then this guy can move it this way. And then this guy can do something else like this. And then now you go through each of them and you can see all of them have their own EQ moves. So lovely. Uh, that way, and you know, that works with all of the other knobs as well. Uh, so you can quickly set this up and, uh, you know, export a single IR of all of the work that you do in here. So that's brand new. It didn't always work like that. And uh, that makes it awesome. In my opinion, that makes this one for me now number one. It's it's my favorite uh, by far for other reasons that I'll get into as I demonstrate this. So real quick, just to make it simple, I'm going to make this two bands. Uh, so you go in here and create the default number of bands. I'll just say two. That's fine. First thing that comes up, it always gives you uh, some random resonance. So the red is like the left speaker and the blue is the right speaker or the other way around, whatever. But what that's doing is like giving you variances in EQ, and that gives you that uh, it's a face coherent uh, mono, face coherent spreading of a sound, which is dope. Th those are super useful, but I'm not doing that in this demo. So we'll turn off the thing that says R1, select the other guy, turn off R1, and then we're just going to load uh, two cabinets in here. But first, turn on auto gain correction. This is super important. When you're moving these and adjusting them, it's going to change the gain of the overall output. You turn on auto gain correction and you're good. Uh, so, all right, band one, we're going to load an IR. Just hit analyze IR. I uh, set one of my favorites in here. You can set favorites. Just find your cabinet folder and then go in here and add selected directory to favorites. And you're good to go from then on. Because otherwise it opens up with, uh, you know, uh, the Melda folder. So... For here, I'm going to load Ascendance. Uh, this is from the William Putney, uh, that STL Putney uh, amp sim, which, by the way, you can get the IRs from that. If you download that demo, uh, you just you get IRs in your uh, My Documents folder, which is sweet. So you want a bunch of free, good IRs. Uh, go download the demo of the STL Putney amplifier, the actual amplifier sim. Uh, and, yeah, free IRs, and they're good. This Ascendance one is dope. It's my favorite out of all of them. Uh, there's some other good ones too. So anyway, second band, own hammer. Now, if you were trying to do this with NAT IR or Libra, uh, you would know how this would sound uh, if you work with ohm hammer stuff. So I'll I'll demonstrate that actually. So I've got a sentence in uh, this own hammer. Check it out. So you get that phase, and it's because you're dealing with two IRs that have two different starting points. And uh, unfortunately, you have to adjust this manually, which isn't always, uh, you know, it's not a perfect science. So you want the pitch to go up, by the way, when you are doing this, if you are doing this. And you hear the pitch start to go down again. It's good, you're, you went too far. So it's somewhere around here but it's not an exact science. Is that right? Okay, I'll guess that that's right. So, and again, Libra even, Libra does the same thing. They say in the manual, it says that it lines them up. It does not. 
and especially when you're dealing with three IRs, uh, which one do you adjust? Do you adjust two of them? Do you adjust one of them? It's it's a pain in the ass. Uh, with M convolution, or excuse me, M cabinet multiband, it just does it. So it's so here's that, and it sounds exactly right to me. Here. So that sounds good, but this one sounds fuller, which is more in phase technically. So anyway, we'll get to work on this on uh, end cabinet. Uh, you can go to each individual uh, band, and you can now use with auto gain correction turned on. Please remember to do that; it will blow your ears out. You can sit here and you know, I can solo this guy. See how he sounds. So that's the own hammer. And then here's that's ascendance. You hear the auto gain correction brought that volume up for me, which is nice. But actually, you know, I, I like this cabinet sound the most. It just it's missing some mids. So, you know, I could add the EQ move here. Which honestly, that sounds great. right there and then this guy you know the own hammer stuff is great but i notice a lot you get this whistly sound from them and that comes from if you zoom in here i'm just using my scroll wheel these real quick up and down jabbies in the the transfer fun, uh, curve these are what are gonna they basically equate to uh distortion it's a phase distortion but with M cabinet, what makes this uh, my favorite, one of the parts that makes it my favorite, is profile smoothing. Look at the uh, curves here, and then just listen to the notes. So that's the original. You can hear those little artifacty, like, you know, honky, whistly. That clears it right up. Man. I mean, that's just, that alone makes this uh, a, a dope plugin. So, but you don't want to always take out 100% of the personality. So, right on that, just barely kissing that sound. That sounds good. And I'll go back to this guy. Let's just smooth it, see how it sounds. sounds good but like I said you, you want to have some of that personality in there all right cool now let's blend them I mostly want the ascendant and just a little hint of the own hammer That's good. All right, cool. So I'm going to, uh, what else? There's, uh, well, there's a bunch of other stuff I could do here, but I'm just going to kind of export and show you how this sounds now. So here's my export. Before I do that, uh, I got to look at the bands and the output. So I'm going to turn off auto gain correction now. My output is safely around that 10 decibel level. Perfect. So I'm gonna turn off auto gain correction. All right, we're looking good. So I'm going to turn this up just a little bit. All right, cool. And then I'm going to hit uh, IR down here. This is going to make an export. So go here. It's going to go, luckily for me, I did this video five minutes ago and screwed up. So I still have it. There's one demo, one cab. Uh, this is actually two cabs. All right. And uh, now let's go and check it out. Well, here, actually, before we do that, I'm going to make a copy of my uh, profile here. So I'll just take copy, and I'll go to C, and then paste. Here we go. So now I've got a backup, let's say. I can start working in C, and I can do things like add more uh, you know, bands and stuff later. But 
first, let's go back into uh, M Convolution Easy and uh, see how that sounds in comparison. So, so here's M Convolution Easy listening to that Ascendance. And here's the Own Hammer. I'm going to jump out of the folder and jump back in because that refreshes the folder. And here's my... Here's my uh, version uh, from M, Cab uh, M Cabinet MB. And then here's the original. I'm jumping, jumping in between the two of them, and uh, you know, it's a it's a perfect copy. So all that work that went into making that sound in, in Cabinet MB, uh, I can now use that as a single IR and use that anywhere. I can use that on a you know a hardware floor unit or just just using these M convolution easies in you know a live recording setup where you know you want to have as lightweight of plugins as possible so that you're you know you can run it in low latency and you're not hitting your cap on your uh, you know your CPU percentage uh, so pretty awesome um, I'm gonna go ahead here and just add one more cap so again turn on auto gain correction that keeps things in check right click in here now I'm gonna instead of hitting the three because that's gonna reset everything instead you want to hit insert with one of the buttons left or right doesn't matter just remember which one you're doing so you kind of keep track of it so I'm gonna I'm looking at this guy and I'm gonna insert one to the right hand side of it so I'll hit insert and there it is so right now this is empty and it's showing me the resonators again I'm gonna turn off the resonators don't need them and we'll go into uh, cabinet and I'm gonna load I don't know uh, something else uh, let's see. I think this is something else from that Putney pack so here this is what this guy sounds like this is post human all right so first things first I can see this huge uh, mistake in the IR I'm just gonna get rid of that so not going to really notice that with most guitars but if someone's tuning down to like g or like you know a below a like this is just going to cause farting and it's going to be a mess uh, and again you got all these uh squigglies you can smooth that out automatically that sounds way better to me like that's got a tone to it but that's got clarity you know, uh, something else I'll show you, this flattening, this like kind of accentuates the cabinet, you know, sound or decentuates it. I'll show you. This will turn it up. This will make it more sound more like the cabinet. So it's like twice the cab and then less. This is going more toward that direct sound and then this is going more towards that cabinet like heavy cabinet sound so I'm gonna leave this where it is um, just brighten it up with the tilt all right I'm not even going for a good sound here really but you know good enough and then I'm gonna now unsolo this and mix it in with the other two that I already had mixed so you can see right there that auto gain correction, it caught it because otherwise it would have got way louder, way, you know, and just blow my ears out. All right, cool. That sounds good. Uh, now, before I turn off auto gain correction but to export, you can see the output is going too loud here. Uh, so I'm going to bring that down just so it's dancing right around the red. And then I can turn it off. Now I noticed uh, there's a bug. Uh, if 
you turn on auto game correction and you export, there's a slight bug with that. So I would strongly suggest turning it off uh, because the exports end up sounding muddy and weird. I don't, I don't fully understand it yet. Uh, I, I told uh, Wojtek about it. We'll see what he says. But uh, yeah, so here's my uh, cabinet number two with three different cabs. I'm just going to export this. Demo three cab. Okay. And let's go into my cabinet. Uh, hang on. In convolution easy. Now it doesn't show up here, but this is how it works. You gotta you gotta flip out of the folder and then jump back in, and now you can see it. So let's listen to cab number three. Yeah, I like number two better. <laughs> but uh, yeah, whatever. Demo purposes, right? Uh, so yeah, that's uh, freaking awesome. Um, you don't have to worry about lining up your cabinets. You've got that smoothness, which just really the, the profile smoothing, that kills it. I didn't even get into uh, resonances, uh, you know, widening. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff you could do with this. Um, and actually, there's some other weirdo tricks you could do with the uh, M convolution multiband, which uh, I'm not going to get into yet because it's just it's like a rabbit hole that I haven't fully explored yet. But once I figure out what the hell's going on, I'll maybe I'll do a video on that. Oh, and I want to do another video on M freeform equalizer because I figured out some even better workflows for how to uh, borrow the sound from a recording that you really like. Uh, found some awesome techniques to very quickly and easily copy an exact replica of the, uh, the guitar cabinet tone from any album that you have, where even if they just have, you know, a, a second or two of guitar. Uh, so, you know, I've got, I've got a video on that already. If you don't know about that, you can find it in my uh, videos, but I'll make a new one soon that's going to be updated with uh, better information. But uh, yeah, so anyway, this is, uh, this is an awesome update uh, from Melda that adding, and you know, I wrote him a letter about that, like a, just a, a nice email, like, you know, hey, I like your stuff, and I wish M Cabinet MB would do that. And a month later, he comes out with it. So, you know, kudos to uh, Wojtek. It's awesome of him that he's listening to customers and uh, responding with awesome enhancements to his products. So, uh, you know, thank you very much, uh, Vaj. That's super appreciated, brother. Um, so, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I hope I explained this correctly. Uh, yep, cool. Have a good one. Take it easy.